And just a quick note, I would not have known about the limited edition Python uh, livery on the on the ASP uh, without Digital Car Act, because I watched this video here, and I got all that information, and about the, uh, the link. So this video is largely inspired by this video right here. And uh, if you like if you like my car build videos, this guy's the gold standard. He's very informative. He does every new car that comes out. You can see, you know, he is a uh, he's at the forefront of fighting the FOMO because he tells you here's what it is and this is what you can get and what's what you can't get. This is what's good, what's not good. He is in the uh, the GTA reference library as you'll see below, so you can link right to him. And now we'll start my video. By the way, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this. This is there's, there's no payola here. This is just sharing the awesomeness. You got you got to check them out. Hello, good everyone. It is your Black Knight, and again going through the the FOMO panic cars, the the FOMO panic of 2023. Gonna do the links up today. Oddly enough, as a, this is a Thursday as I'm recording it, and this is actually on sale, 40 percent. Hmm. Should I put this out earlier than the other uh, videos, just because it is relevant, because you can get this for 40% off, even though I already have it. That is a thought. I'm, I'm doing these build videos with the intent of kind of scheduling them out, but as they're pertinent, and a lot of them are just older cars, so it doesn't really matter, you can't get them anymore anyway, but... This isn't the car that you could normally get. We could do some heavy customization here. Ooh, it's happy! Okay. I think I'll go with the happy sports grill. Just just because. Why why would she? Look pretty. She does, she does. Painted rear bumper and diffuser. No diffuser at all. That does. That does look at least clean. I'm not. I'm not going to do it as a race build. Making decisions is stressful. It is, isn't it? But there is something to be said for a diffuser. So let's go with that route. I said not a race build. I decided I wouldn't put make it safe. She's got a good chassis on her. Transactions are pending. My internet's been going in and out as of late. Got to reboot it just to get it to connect at all. What's I kind of like to work on. Let's put a scoop on it. Horn, uh, let's see. That, like random every time? No. Not happy enough. Need something happy. Let's do happy. Lights. Front, back, sides. Here's a hint where we're going with this. He's all grown up. Livery, none. The plate. Hey, what's our current plate? 81. Hate you. <laughs> okay, well then, that's, that's almost keepable. 81 HTU, but we're, we're, we're gonna go. Do you need a drink? Yellow on black. Or something? Transaction yeah, thing. And well. hateful. Because this is one of the hateful machines. This is one of Ruffy's hateful. Not because it's a bad car, but because it's ridiculously, ridiculously expensive.
And that's why we're going to do Sunset Red with the pearlescent. What is the formula for Bruffy Orange? I thought it was sunrise over sunrise over sunset, which is would make sense. And that's pretty close. His might have a little bit more yellow in it, but we're gonna go with this. Secondary we're gonna match it up. They, they are. They really are. Thank you. Skirts. Do we need a skirt? Carbon skirts? No, we don't. Spoiler, we do need... Let's go with the mid-level. Suspension. Yeah, we'll, we'll do like it's a race, but not a race, you know? Did I miss lights? Okay, we, did, we hit that with those. We have to probably give this. Uh, we want to take this in and give it purple lights. That might be a bit excessive. Headlights, Xena on the muck. We don't want this to be too weird. Let's see suspension, slam transmission, race transmission, turbo tuning. Wheels, because we're doing a Bruffy special here. Wheel type. Off-roaders. Normally he does black, but we're gonna, we're gonna consider. Do we want to do chrome here? Or do we want to try stock rims? They will be cheaper. I think usually the Bruff is a Raider. Probably because it's the first one. He's, he's, he's not into five stars. Five stars look good on this. <coughs> ah, excuse me. We can get a lot of that Canadian smoke. Life is hard when we have anything. The Dukes might not be a bad plan because you got a little bit of chrome, a little bit of black. Concave Rally Masters are my weakness. Yeah, let's go with that, because this isn't really a muscle kind of car look to it. Go color, carbon black. Tires. Bulletproof foam, um, tire smoke. Yeah, we'll go purple on the tire smoke. There you go. That turns a little more breathy purple for you. Orange and purple. Windows, light smoke. Looks almost as good as you. Oh, sweetheart, you flatter me. And let's let's exit to ground. Let's take this thing out. Let's take a look at you can see the uh, the one you can get. If we go down to Yeah, let's hustle this video out. What do you say? I mean, I'm not trying to compete with the guys who are giving you the day, the weekly updates. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull that off on a regular. I am on vacation, so I can do a little bit of this. But I mean, if you really want to know what's going on, you go you look to to, to TGG, to GTA Men, to Bruffy 1322, Digital Car Addict. There's a whole bunch of them down in the description in what I like to call the uh, GTA Reference Library. They let you know what's going on. That's how I know what's going on on the daily. And so there you can get it. That's the only way you can get it this week and after this week. Uh, you can't. You just can't because Rockstar... Stop it, Rockstar! Bad Rockstar. Put the cars back. Stop stressing us out. This is just, you know... And here, me just telling you that this exists. Is this? Is, am I enhancing the FOMO?
This would be a car I would bring to a, a Bruffy car meet if he still had anything to do with PC, which he does not because of modders. You can only imagine, once you're, once you're past a certain level of success as a YouTuber, the modders just come for you. Um, I'm hardly ever there in, my, in, uh, in free roam myself. It's mostly here in invite only. He could do an invite only. I mean, he could do that kind of stuff, I'm sure. He has enough people to fill a lobby, no question about it. He'd be fighting over it. Uh, there's some very serious FOMO here. I want to talk some FOMO. Maybe we could all do this all up in one video. Why not? Why, I say, why not? Okay, now, most of these cars have not been removed. It's my understanding. I don't think there's anything FOMO, but this... Check out this, uh, this livery here on this ASP. They call it the Python livery. This is only available from if you buy this car. So the livery is a FOMO, and quite frankly, it's a really nice livery. Will I buy this and dump my other car? Probably not. Would I buy this car? Maybe twice. <laughs> On sale, I think. Yeah, 900, less than a million. We'll put it in Arena Workshop. I think the one has room. You get yourself a Pariah, which I, I think is available all the time. And the two race cars are always available. Alright, do we want to take the... If we're going to go to the Arena Workshop anyway. Anyway, do we want to put some purple on this? Purple on the, on the headlights. Where the heck are we? We gotta be close to it. Yeah, we are. It's there. That's good. It'll go for maximum bruffification here. I could put, you know, like a purple secondary on it, but it'll just look. It won't look classy, you know? The purple lights might be a bit off, too. Off putting. Oh. Some poles fell down. Some do not. Clutch, clutch, slide, slide. This is not a bad car to drive. It really isn't. It's, again, only hateful because of the cost. And if you've already spent the money, you might as well enjoy the car. I do intend to race this at some point. It supposedly has a pretty good top speed. Let's finish this finish this. Go to lights, headlights, purple A. Purple headlights. Maximum bruff. Maximum bruff! It's maximized for the bruffiness. And we could look at if you want to go gauche with this, go metallic, go down to the purples. Well, that's not too bad with the spinnaker. Midnight purple, midnight purple kind of works too. Ooh, now that's a thought. It's purple, yet not. Because when, when you get the... Uh... That might be a nice little detail point. And it makes the... Uh... What do we call it? Bright purple, which would be... Ultra bruffy. Alright, that actually isn't looking too gauche. Do we want to bruffify it that much? Spinnaker, no. I still think in the sunlight that's going to look terrible. Midnight purple, maybe. But if we don't... We didn't select that, did we? Did, did we buy that? 
I think we did. Yeah, I guess we did. Alright, we don't want, I don't necessarily want that. Where's, where's the, um, come on. Sunrise. Sunset. Sunset red. I mean, that's how, that looks, that looks relatively normal. There it is with the with the midnight. It does give it a nice accent. And there's full on rough. I think, I think, I think we leave the midnight. Let's take it outside and look. How does it look in the sunlight? Did you forget about your patron, Simeon? Yes, you're not my patron, you're a pain in the ass. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad, gang. With the purple, with the, it, it, the, the sunrise over it really takes out the purpleness and just makes it look like another kind of shade of black. It is midnight purple. It's very dark. Can we go with midnight purple wheels? I don't know if we can have that kind of... Oh, dear. I need a window. Someone fix a window. I need mescal glass. A little Scranton reference for you there. Wheels. Wheel color. What kind of purple options do we have? We do have midnight purple. Alright, let's tie it all together. There you go. Do we have a secondary spoiler? I think we just have... We have carbon. We don't have anything else like that. Okay, so... I think the workshop to step out of the car. We're going to take you up Shiliad in a brief bit. But check this out. You know, again, absolutely unique. Wow, that's even different than what we saw in the other thing because of the respray. And look, you can't get it back. It's not in the listing. So you can't you can't change anything here with delivery or you lose it. Like, that is so FOMO. You should at least, if you buy the car, unlock it for your other cars. I think we're going to leave this mostly as it is, stock and stock. Smooth out the dominator, you think? It does look a little funny, you just kind of cut in there. Yeah, let's let it go for right now. Yeah, yeah let's move it out. We're, we're, put, we're trying to highlight the wrap here. Engine block. Yeah, let's go primary V8. Put the ridges on it. Give it more surface area, more of a heat sink. Rail covers. I know, we're not going to do that. Fittings. I don't see sh shifting this over to. Uh, G8 4 camp. There you go. Strut brace polished.
Extreme billet strut base. There you go. Engine tunes, we need them. Intercooler. With water sprayer or with fans? I always feel like the twin fans are... You're going to run out of water at some point. Twin chrome big bore exhaust. Twin side exit exhaust. Oh, what was that? Won't let me look at them. Let me look. Won't let me. There we go. He doesn't want me to see them. Let's give it the sides, even though we can't see it. Fenders. Primary wheel arches. Yeah, let's make it a little thicker. Hood. Hood catches? No, we're going to leave the hood catches off. Hood. Ah, let's see. Let's give it let's give it the Mach 1 kind of hood here. If you put the hood catches on, it won't open. Just leave the horn alone for right now. Interior. Dash. Oh, this is we can't change the color too much here. Race dashes and all that now. Let's leave the dials I, I want to go I want to go a little bit taco and dash gauges is there something over here oh this puts the tack armor over in the uh, has a tack. I mean, it's it's so. It's just a shift tack, I guess. This is an automatic. Do we really need to? Let's leave the tile stock. Let's... Ah, I mean, it's a it's a mild build here. Seats. Sport seats. Lights, headlights. Do I go mint green to go with the Python build here or lime green? I think mint. I'd say mint goes better with yeah, mint. Yeah, mint. Come on, let's do it. Neon kit, neon layout, front, back, sides. Neon color, mint green. This is all because of a livery. The I happen to really like it. I think, I think it looks cool. Don't even go near that. You can't. You, you lose it. It's gone. Primary louvers, absolutely. Highlight the whole thing. Primary mirrors. Stock cab yeah, blacked out. Let's go primary. Mud guards. Primary mud guards. That's an interesting kind of thing there. Yeah. Do we need mud guards? We want a guard from mud. I'm thinking black, just straight up black mud. Yeah, because the, the the green. Is that what this primary is? That that really is. That looks a little bit off. Black mud flaps. Plate. This is too yellow and black. Don't know what um, we give it the Mustang plate. But we'll, we'll leave that for right now. I, I haven't got any kind of thoughts on it yet. Uh, okay, we're not done yet. Back up to plate. Back up to read. What is the primary on this? Okay, so this this changes with the. Uh, well, let's leave it as is. I like the color. Oops. All right, so it's a transparent livery. 
one more reason you might want to get it. Secondary color, what's going to change with this? Nothing. I could tell. Trim color, okay, we can. Change the interior trim. Let's get to the gasoline green. I'm guessing that's what this is. It's a gasoline green car. What you say that matches? Yeah. Accent color. Can we get gasoline green on everything here? Gasoline green. There you go. It's a gasoline green package. Roof. And we're not going to do anything with that. Skirts. Don't know if that's worth the investment. You can't hardly see it with the uh, spoiler. We need something. Primary ducktail. Yeah, that works better for me. Sun strips. No suspension. Lower it for the for the heck of lowering it. Is that make it look a little goofy? Yeah, it looks all right. Transmission. Trunkify it. Doesn't really matter. Turbo it. Wheels. I kind of like the wheels as they are. You can put mercenaries on it. That would be cool. But let's uh, let's just bulletproof them for right now. I can always change it later. Tire smoke. Do we have mint green? <laughs> That's the wrong green. We're not going to change up the tire smoke. Windows. Smokeify it. Exit the workshop. That is a beautiful car. Do I take it? Do I get one over on Rusty Jack at some point and build it with an orange build? You know, like an orange, orange python kind of thing. That might not be a bad plan. But for right now, let us ponder Chiliad. That's what we do. We ponder the chili guy hot lap route, which isn't even really a hot lap route anymore. I don't expect that the Lynx is going to have a problem here. Sports. Noon, so we can get a good look at the, at the paint job here and the, the sunshine. There's so much FOMO. I don't want to encourage the FOMO, but I want to, I want to give you the tools you need to, to survive the FOMO. That's what I'm trying to do here. Do I have enough cars, really? I mean, you know, that's custom links. The custom Bruffy Special Links. Went the wrong way again. I and we can't we get stuck right here. Yeah, that's always how that works. I went a little bit too far. You can't see it because it's it drops off. So you have to kind of remember where this part is. Oh, we're going sideways into the into the water. Train's there anyway, alright. This isn't that hard. If, if you just do this. Barrel roll. Beat it up a little bit. Trying to land on the train! Almost. Bit of a fail there too, but... We're stuck. But do we have enough speed? 
and power. And not enough room. Now, we've lost the nose. Okay, I'll give us more ground clearance going up Chiliad. Duh. Chiliad is a place I go. It's a place that you should know. There's too much fun though. I did go on the uh, the Rockstar the Rockstar suggestion site is back up. He's down for a little while there. I think they didn't want to deal. But I did say bring the cars back. Begged them again for uh, to bring back the, the fortune and make it a hot ring liver uh, hot ring style as well. And you know Fox Buddy Mustang. Disco Volante, the, the, the ones I normally ask for. Not all in one post, of course, because that's cluttered. We still have headlights, otherwise you'd see purple, but yeah, that's... We've already knocked the headlights out. The ground lights, luckily, are... Uh, indestructible. There's just light that emits. They don't really have... Okay, not a lot of traction there. A lot of wheel spin. Will it generate enough momentum? Does it have enough traction? Can't defeat the bushes. Can it defeat the incline? Even beat the heck as it is. It looks like it can. It looks like this isn't going to be a problem. Oh, that bush scared me. Tell you what, some pretty darn good grip here. Good, good traction. Now the Lynx is definitely a... Uh, the Chiliad Barnstormer here. I think Ruffy always said it's not a bad car by any stretch. The reason it was marked as hateful is because it's $1.7 million. Which doesn't sound like a lot in today's GTA economy here in 2023. But when this came out, it was ridiculous. It was a sign of things to come. And that's that's enough. As if this is the, if the Lynx is where they first said, hey, will people buy this? Will they spend $1.7 million? And now it's... I believe the new car that just came out, which is an electric Peugeot. That's almost two million. We've eaten it, it again. No, 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 no. I keep falling off this mountain on this side, and not today. We've got the grip to recover today. Nice. This machine is the hateful is tongue in cheek. I like this. Hateful, hateful, hateful. Oh, it's a hateful machine. I know, I'm giving him an Irish accent and he's not Irish. Or is he? I think like Bruffy sounds so Irish. Or Scottish, I don't know. That's to an American ear. It doesn't know anything about these things. I'm a mix of Slovak and Sicilian and some other Eastern Europe. Maybe a little German in there. We're not real sure. It's an interesting thing because when you when, you know, back in the day when people were, we're falling down here, when people were coming over to the United States, there were certain countries you couldn't come in from. And, you know, uh, if you were Slovak, it was difficult to get in the country. You know, or Polish or anything like that. It's just how it was. And, you know, my, at least on one side of my family, on the Shuda side, I believe they came from a city that was right on the border between like Czechoslovakia, whatever it was back then. And Slovakia and Poland, current day Slovakia, Poland and Ukraine. You know, it's all, we're all right in there. We're not really sure. My, my uncle claims that we were horse thieves. 
and that we kind of float around a lot. I don't really know if that's true or not. I don't know how we found that information out. But uh, they are the uh, they are the family historians, so it's possible. But the uh, but if you want to come into the country, uh, Austria thought that the, Austria you could get in through Austria. So I believe it's on actually on my mom's side, on the Zamashinsky side. Uh, they uh, if you spent three months in Austria, you could claim Austrian citizenship and they could get into the United States. Which is really kind of generous of Austria, you know. And uh, so a lot of the paper comes in as that we're Austrian. But are we really? I don't, we don't really. And there's a lot of interesting things there that went on. So I'm some mix of Eastern European and I mean, the, the, the Sicilians, that's, you know... That's solid. My grandmother was 100% Sicilian. So, Marino. So somewhere out there, I'm vaguely related to one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, probably. So there's probably a lot of Marinos. There's, there are a lot of Marinos. So my point is, I don't know very much about Ireland or Scotland. It's not really... was it on the menu growing up. You know what I'm saying? It's just... Uh, Although my my uh, my mom and my sister have been watching a lot of Outlander, and so we've started saying Stromash all the time when things are going awry. Oh, this is a Stromash. It's a fun word. Try it. Stromash. I think this can make the jump. What do you think? No, the bushes. Oh, the bushes, but does it got the traction? Come on. Let's show this thing off. I bet you from a, a, a dry start here. With some purple smoke, yeah. Oh, the Lynx is a nice car. Is it is it overwhelmingly nice? Like, if you can't get a Lynx, should you feel bad about your life? No. It's well, still wildly expensive. It's not, it's not a $1.7 million deal. I don't think anything... I don't think any of the prices are reasonable. I mean, when this came out, it was, uh, it was just egregious and obscene, and now they've kind of normalized everything to that. Everything's $2 million. Because you can make more money now than you could then, too. But... Someday we'll have to, I'll have to ask Ruffy if he still considers, with the, in the current economy, the Lynx a hateful machine. Maybe we'll change the plate. He's very accessible if you go on his Twitch stream. You can, you can ask him questions. You can, you can do stuff like that. Ruffy 1322. Should we take the new Python ASP up the hill? Just for content. Just for the content sake. I think we should. I'm not going to go too crazy with this. I do want to get... Um, I do want to get this video out. Look, I may... I may do this. I may do the orange bruffy one. Off, oh, we, we should really see it, right? Point to point GTA. Let's let's see how this goes up. And maybe we'll switch out. Noon it. Clear it. Point to point GTA muscle bang. Bang. Blade. Do, 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 do. See, this is my normal ASP. I'm not getting rid of that. I love that one. There's the homage to you know, these are those homages to my dad's Mustang. But look at that. That is a different kind of deal altogether with that new uh, Python Python digital. I'm a bit of a collector, as you know. That's collector's the worst thing for FOMO. It's just FOMO pain. Okay, can we not screw this up this time? That was as good as it's going to get until we climbed it up the wall. But we can, we're still going to stay ahead of the train, I think. 
Driving an exclusive car for this week. You'll never see this again, right? FOMO. The fear of missing out. You gotta get it now because it's fear of missing out. By the way, the louvers make that bulletproof. So, it's definitely something that's good. This feels really fast. And the, I mean, the ASP is. It's, it was the fastest muscle car for a little while. I think until the Buffalo SDX came out. No! Oh, we landed it. All right, that's epic. We're building some some epicness here. I love the color on this. I just do. We got the, the mint lights. Do we have mint lights going? I don't know if we have. We, we, we put mint lights, I think. Yeah, this is so far. Now let's see. It is rear wheel drive. It is a muscle car. Taking a rear wheel drive muscle car up Chiliad usually not a good plan. But it does have better handling than most. That's right, some like the top looks gray and then some like it looks green. That's that's just shifting colors all over the place. See that? That's kind of neat. Stuff you can do with a digital palette that doesn't really exist. Oh, this thing barnstorms chilly out too. This is good. I like this car. Two thousand Mustang. That's it's a beautiful car. It's doing pretty good. I'm trying not to yeet it off the cliff, as I have been wanting to do. Mm, trying to be very gentle. You just park it on the side here and look out at the, the beautiful landscape. I admire the beautiful python. See how that changes color there? That's just It's, it's a color-changing palette. So FOMO on the livery, I guess. If you're into Mustangs and you and you want this, this is the only week to get. Again, one reason I'm pushing it out. Letting you know it's there so the FOMO doesn't strike you and be depressed. And it is on sale, I believe. If you don't have an ASP, you have to get this. You really do. FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. I will inflict the FOMO on you from the evils. No, I mean, it's, it's all video game stuff, gang. What I really should be doing is I should be hopping in the shower right now and then going to get some oil from my Windstar because that needs a port. 2001 Windstar. You gotta check the oil every so often, you know? Woo! Alright, look at this, the way this thing stunts out. J turn and cannonball down. Yeet! Don't explode. Boom! Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that didn't, that didn't go as smoothly as I would have hoped. It's got a tremendous amount of traction for a muscle car, though. I mean, you, it's, it's just driving all over Chilead like it's nothing. We consider how much I struggle sometimes with uh, SUVs coming up here. I mean, you know, 4x4s. Just power. It's got the power. thing moves. If you're if you're in a defred and you can get one. Interestingly enough, the headlights aren't turning on automatically there. Can we turn those on? I'll get some purple for this tunnel if everything is still there. A green red. Oh look at the mint green. Lighting everything up with the mint green headlights. Technically not a FOMO car, but it's a FOMO livery. They're finding new and different ways to do FOMO. Fear of missing out. La 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 la. 
And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through and put the echo on on FOMO every time I say it in the video like I have. First of all, Yag's probably played out. Second of all, I wanna get this video out to you in the most expeditious way possible. Though the most expeditious way possible would not include switching uh Woo! Did that just to show you the pipes. Uh, would not involve trying to rev this up as an orange car. And we're going to try and do that, I think. Oh dear, you know, I think it can make the jump, no question. But the bush, the bush there, come on, yeah, it's got the traction. It can do this, it's got the power and the motivation. It's the Python ASP. Bushes. Look at that bush spinning right around, right there. It's the power of the bush, you know, the bushes are powerful. Especially since that whatever update they made the bushes powerful. As opposed to transparent. It's a powerful bush. Coming in hot. But control. You gotta love this car. You just gotta love this car. I don't know normally look at the time, so a sub seven minute run on this is darn good. I, sometimes it's fifteen. Too bad you can't pick cards for a D-Fred. You have to find them. Free mode this. You saw me customize the uh, the hood, so you we don't have to the, the engine room, so we don't have to do too much with that. Why are we here with no car? That's weird. Why did I lose the car? Why is it not selected as a personal? All right, well, let us swap the character. I'm just going to talk through this. We're not going to. We're going to try again. Keep the editing to a minimum. I wish we could swap character to an invite only. Don't get annoyed. We're only bringing you in here to get a car. I'm not loading up your your, your uh, aircraft hangar cargo yet. But I'm about halfway full on one on the CEO. I don't know. I don't really call that character the CEO anymore. Stop doing the CEO in pajamas thing altogether. I wonder if that's that deserves a revival at some point. I never, I never thought it really took off. Where do we have parking? Do we have... Well, it doesn't matter. We have to go to the garage, get something, and go buy it. But let's go look in the garage first. Because you can't buy it on the, uh, the interwebs. you got to go down to Simeon's and buy this livery. Just to stress that, don't buy one off the website. You won't get the Python livery. you got to go... Did we build that one yet? I don't know if we built it or not. We bought it. I think that was a Simeon's purchase. There's a lot of FOMO here. I'm trying to see, do we have any parking? So, so far, lots to build. I'll have build videos going for months. It's just, you know, how long? Oh, we do have some space here. But, let's see, if we want to do orange lights or something like that. Okay, let's just take the, um, the high wagon. It's here. Or the Omnis EGT or whatever you want to call it. The thing. And where is Simihan? Not far. He's a straight shot on down here. Just from Excuse me, have an air roll. We are in a public, by the way, because we just switched, so we're we're being daring here. I don't know if there's anybody in this lobby or not, but we can take missiles from this, we can do a lot of things.
EGT this. So you go here, we purchase it. Can we fit it in an arena workshop? You know, whatever nope. it takes. Not that arena workshop. That arena workshop. Okay. No, it's in two's like room in two. Our all right. All right. Uh, no, we're not all right. We're not doing it. You could say someday that I'll... Another quick jump. You could say someday I'll end up doing an arena workshop thing. I'll be doing the, uh, the original heist, but I mean, Prison Break is so broken. I mean, you've seen, I have a video up on that where I just tried and tried and it was broken. You, you did everything right. You got four people, you know, you're trying to keep, one guy's trying to stay alive in the airplane and then the, the prisoner wouldn't move and I just gave up. I just never want to do it again. And I don't have to do it again. I still have, probably close it on 99 million now. I'm probably getting, dumping down here and, Losing money, but how much room is in two? Lots of room, some room. That was the last space to figure out where, where, where we are. We have space in this thing. Where we were, we're almost. I'm gibbering. Okay, so the main thing we want to look at here. If we go to respray, is it transparent enough that this will work? Respray. Primary color. Metallic. A bright orange or orange? I think orange. Or that's a nice python-y kind of look to it. And here you can really see the difference in the top shade. With pearlescent, gold, yeah, let's leave that. Secondary color, I don't know that anything here follows the secondary. I think you have to put parts on for that. Metallic, what is it currently? Gr gasoline green is the current one. Let's just match it up to orange. Trim color, yeah, let's... Let's go with a cream. Let's let's go a little bit. Not just orange, 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 orange. Let's put it down. Let's. That does yeah, that doesn't look as bright as I'd hoped. Oh, it doesn't look bad there though. Sandy brown. Brown brown wood reach brown. Da, 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 da. Cream. White looks brighter, but I want to go with the... I, I said I wanted green. We're going to take cream. That's how it's going to be. Accent color. Also cream. Doesn't need too much of an accent. Roof. No, it doesn't matter. Skirts. We want to skirt this one up. Might as well. We'll put primary love skirts on. No point in building the identical car, you know. And no, we're not taking this one up till yet again. There's no point in that. We did that already. It'll be fine. It will be good. If it ever just buys the... I do dig the ducktails. Should we NASCAR this one? A little bit more? Eh, let's just do Just the one simple. Oh, they do have a drag spoiler. How does that look? Gives you just as much traction. It looks a little bit funkier. All right, let's do that. Suspension. I think this one needs it in the weeds. Some of them it doesn't matter. Some of them it does. Trunk. We're leaving that. Turbo. We're turboing. The wheels. This time we'll go muscle chrome. Want to go like a muscle freak kind of? Or am I just gonna fall back the course and put mercenaries on it? Old school doesn't look bad. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Of course we are. 
I love the mercenaries. Chrome mercenaries. Tires. Bulletproof them. Tire smoke. Give it the orange smoke. Did we miss lights? Windows. I feel like we've missed stuff. We missed a lot of stuff. We started up at the, the, the one end with the, the respray, and then we didn't do a bunch of stuff. And that was the most dangerous. Front bumper. Everything kind of just makes it very aggressive, but yeah, uh, teeth. Well, it's a very snaky look to it. Where's that one with the fangs? Considering it's got the python look to it here, that does... Yeah, I should have put that on the green one. I don't know. Rear bumpers. Yeah, let's we'll make this one a little more aggressive. Because why not? Intercoolers. It's a twin fan intercooler. Engine block. Rail covers. No, we don't want rail covers. We're just going to do fittings. I like the Ram Air setup. I really do. Where the heck is it? We just had it on the other one. Wasn't there one that fitted right to the no? Oh, yeah, it was on the other car. No, there you go. The brushed fork, cam yeah, that has the Ram Air on it. <clears throat> Lightened rail. Yeah, let's go with that for the just for the fun of it. Just for the hell of it. We did that one already. Exhaust. The dual, the twin board exhaust. Chrome box. That looks very down for business, kind of. Fenders. Stock fenders and stock fenders. That's interesting. If I go primary wheel arches. Wide body a little bit like we did the other one. No hood catches because we want to be able to open the thing. That's a little too Subaru, don't you think? I don't know. It's Let's go, yeah. Should we do this uh, the real regular? That's how the, the Mustang would be. There you go. Yeah, that, that's what, you know, I'm so partial to that Mach 1 look. Interior. Street interior. There you go. Dials. This one will go well, then. Doors. It's like regular doors. Is it, is it wrong of me? The sport seats in. Painted sport seats. How does that sound? Steering wheel. Formula cutout. Here's one with all the buttons. Rally clubman with a vapid in my legs. Roll cage, street cage, dodger cage. Had dodger cage so we're not cutting the thing up too badly here. Lights, headlights. Orange. Because we're here. Why not? Why? This is why we came here. Neon color. Orange. Livery, don't even go near it. Louvers, yes, for the bulletproofness. Mirrors, primary, mud guards, yeah, black mud flaps. Plate, 
Let's go yellow on black. Let's see, see you later is probably what I need. Yeah, I'll just see you later. Respray, we're done. Roof, we're done. Skirts, we did. Spoiler, we did. Sun strips, this is where we started. It's already slammed. It's already this. It's already that. It's already got the light smoke. Exit the arena. I want to see this thing in the light. In the rain. So there you have it. The things you can do. That's a really, really. I hate to. I hate to encourage the fumble. But that's a really nice livery game. When you next see the green one, it might might have the the, the fanged front end because of the whole Python thing. And there you are, you can see how it looks all oranged up. Oh, check out the trunk. Fuel cell and everything, wow. Never knew that about this car. Well, I'm staying in the car here, getting to wrap it up. Let's, let's close the doors. Shoo. And on this note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.